Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I've been doing toaster oven cooking videos for about four years now, and I'm on my third toaster oven that I've been using on this channel. The second one I had actually only lasted about five or six months and then it died, so I contacted Black & Decker and they sent me a replacement one. And I really wasn't too happy at first because it was a little bit smaller than than the one they replaced. But I've been using that one for uh, getting close to two months now and I actually really like it. In fact, I think it's probably the best um, oven, toaster oven that I've cooked in. So let me show you what it looks like. This is the oven. It's a Black & Decker oven. It's about 12 inches across and about 12 inches deep. So it will hold a 12 inch pizza, which is nice. It's tall enough that you can fit like a chicken, a whole chicken or a roast in there. And this is a 10 inch cast iron skillet. That will fit right in there. Um, I had to buy a new one with a shorter handle. I bought this one at Walmart for about $8, it's a mainstays, but that fits right in there, which is really nice because you can fit a pretty good amount of food in that and it holds the heat well. The controls are pretty basic and pretty easy to use. Um, the main ones that I use are just toast. That's, uh, you can set like how long you want it to toast. It has different toast settings. Broil. Um, and then bake. Those are the main ones I use. Now this is a convection oven. That means that it has a little fan that kind of circulates the air so it does cook very evenly. Now that is the temperature setting. If you want to change the temperature setting um, <clears throat> it's just an up down button right here and it changes it in 25 degree increments which is nice because it goes pretty fast also it doesn't have a bunch of annoying sounds and beeps because we have a parrot and he picks all that stuff up so it's nice that it's quiet this is the timer button right there so you want to change your timer setting it's pretty easy also too if you uh, want to start it that's okay that sets it to bake right there just push the start button. Now, it will flash for about five or 10 minutes till it preheats before it starts timing. So um, that's kind of a nice feature as well. And the timer is nice too, because if you're like me, you put something in there and you go start doing other stuff and then you forget about it so it will shut off on its own so you don't burn your food or burn the house down or whatever. It also comes with this aluminum baking tray, but I use the cast iron skillet the most. I just like that better. It holds the heat better and you can fit more food in it. Um, I've done about uh, maybe eight or ten cooking videos in that. Not very many, but if you want to see something cooked in it, I have a playlist of things that I've cooked in it, so I'll put that up at the end of this video. Now, the cost of that oven was about a hundred dollars when I first got it, which I thought was a little bit high, but it's come down to about seventy-one ninety-nine now. So um, that's actually probably fairly reasonable. Like I said, that's probably the best oven that I've cooked in so far. The broiler works really well. I've cooked several steaks in it and some chicken, and it does a really nice job on that. So. Um, like I said, I'll put that playlist at the end of this video. And also I'll put the link to Amazon in the description if anybody wants to take a look at it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.